very strange indeed. Um, I got in trouble singing this song in kindergarten, and I can lay the blame squarely on my parents' doorstep. So, um, so, the tale begins, you have to imagine me considerably shorter than this, um, four years old, this, this just little, you know, talkative pipsqueak. And I had um, two, I was a lot blonder than this, I was like one of those little white blonde kids. And I had these two little ponytails that just sort of stuck out, like you would do on a little terrier or something. <laughs> and I, I actually kept that hairstyle until about grade five. Every, every school photo, I'm there grinning away, and the ponytails are exactly the same place, they just get longer. <laughs> in grade six, I decided I was much too cool for that, put it in one ponytail. But anyway, so at four years old, here I was with my little blonde pigtails, and I go into Mrs. Lynn's class, and I loved Mrs. Lynn, I still totally remember her face. And one day, she invited her little four-year-old charges together, and she said, Tomorrow, I want you to come back to circle time with a new song to share with everybody. <laughs> and so I toddled back home with my pigtails of bobbing, and I told my parents what my quest was. And my dad looked at my mom, and my mom looked at my dad, and they went, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> needless to say, the next morning, I go back into kindergarten, pigtails of bobbing, and I wait my turn, and all of the other kids had learned, you know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider or the Alphabet Song or something, kid-oriented. And uh, when it came my turn, I stood up, and in this huge voice for a four-year-old, I sang this blood and guts fighting Northern Irish rebel song. <laughs> and I can only imagine Mrs. Lynn was like, that's not appropriate. <laughs> um, and to make matters worse, this is a Canadian classroom. So on the wall of every Canadian classroom, there's a beautiful portrait of our queen, Queen Elizabeth of the UK, um, staring benignly down at us, making sure we do our homework. And right under her nose, apparently, I put my fist up in the air, and I went, down with England! Because <laughs> that's what you do when you sing an Northern Irish <laughs> was a parent-teacher interview called, <laughs> and uh, I have yet to get enough fears into my dad to get him to tell me what they talked about at that parent-teacher interview, but I was allowed to stay in kindergarten, so I <laughs> they excused themselves pretty well. So I'll start with uh, I'll start with another one in Irish Gaelic that's on that uh, My Celtic Heart CD, and then I'll segue into this uh, very subversive kindergarten story. <laughs> <laughs> Fain Kalin Diazo, Ni Heron Mosbre, Lay Tama Fain Sayer Bolyon, Spion Corke and the Heron Waha Clean Eyes Tirbon, Ismora Narra Mepes is Mentira, Honte Wayo, Rahame Mara Hadian. Lana fan hoil, gan hoitche, gan bat, gan granin bracher vilium. Ach tu yor na kuyo, mare jelia pas mokion. Isoro yacht manam jehois to fekit, orumana. Let us to the fray 
But now he marches to his fate in the tomb bridge town today. And its sash of green were bright and stainless then. An hour better flashed beneath the sun over all his fighting men. The bell coach has many a rent this snow and its sash is torn away. And he who wore it goes to die in Tunbridge Town. Mother Ireland, your love them still the best. The horse fears brave who fighting fall upon your hapless breast. True to the last, true to the last, he treads the upward way. Young Roddy McCorley, who goes to die on the bridge of town today. Young Ra